might bring Matt on and hear a great testimony of um, hey guys. him. How are you, mate? Hey, good, thanks. Good to see you. you too. You're coming to us uh, from Hastings, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Oh, nice awesome. Well, thanks for nice making time weather. to share with us. It's, um, yeah, it's awesome to especially like see faces like yourself that we haven't been able to see around much because of the, the, the online stuff recently. So, yeah, keen to hear you, mate. Give us a bit of a rundown on uh, you, you joined us pretty recently. Yeah, my wife and I have actually been coming to the church for probably a couple of months now. We were coming to the um, face to face church at the building. Um, and because my parents also go to the church as well, um, my brother Nathan and Gillian and Wayne, uh, not, and yeah, we, um, we, we've loved it. As soon as we started going, we, we, we loved the church and we were looking for a place to sort of settle and, and make our spiritual home. Awesome. So we thought this wow. place is good. good. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's awesome to hear. It's, um, yeah, really good to hear that we can still connect through this time. And um, I, I, I got a sneak peek at uh, what you're going to talk about, but I heard there's a bit of a testimony um, and love to hear a bit about that. If you could share with us, it always inspires us and encourages us all. Yeah, no, for sure. Look, um, since February this year, I had a, uh, a stroke. Or what they what they said to me was a stroke. Um, uh, my whole right side was completely left, um, semi paralyzed, and I was unable to to walk properly. I had a walking stick to move around. Um, I couldn't I couldn't really function much at all. Um, my whole sort of right side had dropped. Um, which sort of left me, I, I couldn't swallow properly. I couldn't um, eat. I was on liquid uh, food wow. um, yeah. for quite some time. And so now, I mean, obviously I'm <laughs> functioning a lot better. Um, yeah. But the, the real miracle that happened through it all, because uh, there's a lot that happened, but I'll, I'll, I'll cut it short and sort of let you know what the miracle was, was I was watching... <laughs> In June, on June the 7th, I was watching Todd White uh, live on a stream. And uh, my wife and I, at this point, were, were very sort of distressed and just pleading to God that, you know, because I, I, I was basically at the point where I was just like, is this going to be me for the rest of life, you know? Wow. Um, and so we were just we were just pleading to God that you know God intervened and, and would do something, and there were quite a few tears and all that sort of thing because my, I've got three children, um, yeah. and I didn't know what condition I was going to be like, you know, with it, for looking after them for the rest of my life. Um, yeah. And Todd White was was preaching, and they had a towards the end they had a, a prayer time for everyone, people could come forward. Um, but one thing that they do is they have an online uh, thing as well where they make uh, a time for people to like put through on chats and all that, a bit, you know, for themselves. But we didn't, at this point, we didn't actually let them know anything about me. Um, and Todd White, yeah. it was about halfway through this time, and he, he turned to everybody online and basically said, there's somebody that I've got to speak to right now. And he went through and proceeded to say everything that had happened to me, everything, my current condition, everything that had happened right up to that point. And he said, God wants me to tell you you're healed. Um, wow. And so as soon as he said that, I felt all down my right side, this heat go from the top of my head this side, <laughs> top of my head, <laughs> right down to my feet. And it was wow. an immense heat. It was a really strong heat. And I knew something was happening. Um, and then this particular point, I, I dropped my walking stick because that I even needed that to help to hold me up uh, and not fall over. And I just took that leap of faith and I put the stick down and just went, I'm going to, and I started walking around the room. 
And wow. from, that point, from that point on, I've been walking ever since properly without the aid of a stick. Um, yeah, so that, and that was, was a lot more tears after that. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Praise God. What a story. And um, yes. I love that he moves even over these, these technology stuff. We can still um, encounter his presence and see healing. So what an encouragement <laughs> to all of us. And if anyone's out there would like prayer for anything similar, I think it'd be awesome to put in the comments. So we do have a team here at Southern Lights who intercede and pray and go after things in mm. the spirit because we believe in healing and we see healing. So um, <laughs> yeah, what a what a testimony. And so what's that that journey been like for you since that? You had a physical healing. Is there, there how's the walk with Christ been since? Oh, look, I've this is my actual third miracle that I've had. I had cancer when I was 20. I'm late forties now. And I uh, had from the ages of two yeah. to 13, I had uh, really bad allergies. I had to have juice with my cereal and everything. But yeah. and at age 13, God healed me on the spot at a, a dinner thing that this person was preaching at. And um, mm -hmm. so it's, I'm not unknown. My walk with God's been pretty good, but yeah. this was probably my first real desperation. <laughs> Um, at my age <laughs> moment, I didn't really want a stroke or what I thought was a stroke back then to, um, to affect the rest of my life and God came through again. So, I mean, it was just another testament to his, what he wow. can do. Yeah. 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 That is incredible. I think Justy Meath has put a comment in there and said, amazing, great testimony. How good is it that God is not limited? And uh, no. <laughs> that's that's the, the testimony of what you're talking here. Caleb said a phenomenal digital miracle. And, um, it's true, he moves. So yeah, that's just true. a shout out. If anyone is uh, seeking prayer, please put it in the comments. I'd love for you to um, pray, pray as I'm sure if you see comments here, you'll pray after the service or through the service as well, Matt. That's awesome. And yep. tell, tell us about, have you been able to connect with church? It's obviously we've been pretty much digital have you been able to get involved in the body of christ here through this time how's oh, that been that's it's been really good i mean I, apart from going to church on a sunday i haven't really yeah. felt disconnected because um like we we go to church here like this on a sunday in the morning um i'm involved in a life group on a friday um awesome with some boys and, and that and that's really good um yeah my, my daughter goes to kids church on sunday after this and yeah. my two other two children who are 14 and 15 danny and josh they go to youth group online yeah um they've been to a, a one at the church before um but they they still try and yeah. get online when they can and and so we're, we're pretty connected in the church um regardless of the conditions we've got at the moment mm -hmm which is really good. So, yeah. That's awesome. Fantastic to hear. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, that's such an encouragement to us all. So yeah, really appreciate you coming on and sharing, mate, and um, inspiring no us all. And I hope that's the take home that um, I'm sure we all got is that we're still connected, we're still together, we're still on fire for, for, for Christ and he's still moving in this time. So um, yeah, thanks for encouraging yep. us, mate.